Ryan Roland Smith spent five years in the big leagues, four of them with the Mariners. He's no stranger to the training it takes to perform at peak levels, and he's also not about to back down from a challenge, which is what he was presented with earlier this summer when he was approached about participating on American Ninja Warrior. Ryan accepted the challenge and a crash course training session. We're at Sumner Ninja. It's the day before the big day, American Ninja Warrior. I'm just doing a bit of a run through here. We have some replication of what I'm gonna face tomorrow. These are the shrinking steps. Basically, you start down here on the flat, gets a little bit further and further and further, and then I'm gonna throw the body, boom, into the rope and basically land up here. That's what we're going on. That's stage one. I have to get through that first stage. I feel like I'm going so slow. Yeah, I'm feeling like a man right now. Got me feeling like the oldest town. No my city gonna hold me down. So late. One thing I've been, I've been uh, really struggling with is the grips. I'm a heavy dude, I'm 235, okay? And you see a lot of these guys who run it, not making excuses, they're smaller, all right? I am strong enough, but it's just the grips. It just crushes you through here and your fingers just get destroyed. So basically we're working on from here, grabbing onto here, getting all that weight, and just trying to get as far as I can get. I do it for the love of the game. I do it for the love of the game. All right, now I can do some pull-ups, all right? I, I can do, and, and someone asked me when I first started this, hey dude, can you even do a pull-up? I'm like, yeah, of course I can do a pull-up. And then I rolled into day one of training and it's a lot more technical. But what we work from this bar to that bar, that's six feet across. And the goal is here to, to learn how to get the feet out, get those legs going back, and then go from here and boom. Catch that bar right there. A lot of fun if you're about 10 years old, but when you're 37, not so fun on the old shoulders. Hall of Famer, how did you not know? Championship, about to win a Super Bowl. Fans in the stand, love it when I'm in the dome. Touchdown, dance, celebrate. Now, when we first got here, everyone knows about the famous warp wall. This is the wall I'm gonna be doing on the show, right here. Oh, it's only 14 feet. Getting up this thing, it's easy. You basically just take a couple steps, boom, straight up the top. But we'll see how we go. into the wall again. It's just it's technique. It's, that's the one thing, it's like, oh, you know, you're athletic enough. Then you figure out there's so much technique involved. You get here, one, there's the fear element that you're going up a, up a wall. Two, it's the technique of the steps. And three, it's the commitment. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, be a man, come on. It's basically you get one shot at this, so I'm just gonna be hanging on for dear life, literally. And you know what, leading into this, I've only had a couple of weeks to prep, but as soon as my friends, people started finding out that I was doing this, it was you're too big, you're too heavy, you're too old, you know, you're not an athlete anymore. But all those little things, are the things that have fueled this fire to get to this point. So I can't wait to get started. It's gonna be fun. You can shut the cameras off now. <laughs> Former Mariners pitcher and current Root Sports broadcaster, Ryan Roland Smith, accepted the challenge of participating in American Ninja Warrior. After just a few days of training, the big day arrived. The anticipation mounted as Ryan prepared to make his national debut. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. We're just down the road from Seattle in the Tacoma Dome. It's our first ever indoor competition on American Ninja Warrior. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? We gotta get you into rule. Hey, goodbye. Okay, thanks. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. Okay, all right. This course tonight features two crazy new obstacles. The Lunatic Legends, 
and the barrel roll, which will send our ninjas flying. If you make it to the end, you can go for $10,000 on our mega wall, but only seven athletes have made it up this year. So we just did a run through all the competitors that go through the rules. I got some uh, tips from some of the legends of the sport and I'm, I'm coming up soon. Wish me luck. Team Hyphen ready to go take on the course for the first time. He's been training. I hope he's been training hard. We are ready, of course. Got the signs for support. We're ready to go. We got the friends, family, the cheering section. We're set. We're ready. Complete the course. We'll be with you. All right, here goes nothing. On my last two feet, I might get the wall, who knows? Let's do it. Good luck, man. Yeah. Well, it's time to go racing. Here come the ninjas. We've got support. I've got the posters ready. We've got the people, the fans, his family. We're all ready to cheer him on. I just hope that Ryan Roland Smith is ready. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest, where we're inside the legendary Tacoma Dome. And while we were away, three more athletes took on this city qualifying course. The mascot for the Seattle Mariners baseball team offered support for former player Ryan Roland Smith, who became the first major league pitcher to try our course. Pitchers are athletes too, and I think he's gonna make a statement. And he was right down the middle on the shrinking steps. Who said pitchers can't move? But at 6'4", 235 pounds, he could have used a pinch hitter on the lunatic ledges. I'm really proud of him. I think it took a lot to do that. And I think that you showed our kids that you can try anything. Uh, yeah. And that can't isn't a good word. Because it's by the water. I did come in the water. <laughs> oh, that looks brutal. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Oh, I had the gate, I was like doing this. <laughs> that's awesome. I got up there, as soon as I started swinging, I was like, oh, I'm in trouble here. I'm just swinging there like just like a, a lame duck, and then boom, there's not, I got, it was like I got no chance. Oh, it was awesome. I got up there, I had the mariner moose. I was loving that he walked up with me. Uh, so that, that felt that made me feel right at home. And then uh, a couple kids. We yell out, hey, go hyphen and this and that. So that was nice, but uh, so much fun. Good attempt. The nerves have, have finally settled down. I'm hooked now. I want to try and come back a year later. We'll see. Hey, buddy, Team Hyphen, we're proud of you. We're behind you. Nice job today, man. We'll see you next time on American Ninja Warriors.